Vampires without sparkly skin! Finally! Please be good. Daybreakers. Okay, so vampire movies as of late have become soft. No, that's not the word. Now, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh yeah, lame. I mean, vampire movies went from being the most badass stories ever. Vampires versus vampire hunters. The apocalypse is coming hardcore awesome. To, I love you, Bella. My skin sparkles. Eh. But I am pumped to say, we ring in 2010 with the return of the sweet vampire movie. Now, Daybreakers was really interesting from the get-go. Because usually in vampire stories, vampires remain hidden in the night. Vastly outnumbered by the human beings. 99% of which don't even believe that vampires exist. They're known only in myth and legend. Except for like the five people chosen to hunt them. Straight up Castlevania. But in Daybreakers, vampires are the dominant species on the planet. 95% of the human race have become vampires. And the handful of humans that remain are either on the run or are in facilities being farmed for blood. Yeah, it is a bloodsucker's world out there. But as the great philosopher Blade once told us, a world of all suckheads. Well, it's bad. Or he said something like that. Because with the lack of humans, the blood well is running dry. And when vampires are deprived of blood, they go from civil upper class vampires to the vampires in from dusk till dawn. Yeah, demonic vampire gargoyles. Not a pretty outcome. And I really liked how they touched on the economic backlash of the blood supply dwindling in this movie. Usually a movie like this wouldn't touch on that, but this one does. Like, okay, the blood supply dwindles, vampires start becoming demonic vampire gargoyles, the hope for a blood substitute from the company supplying the blood looks bleak, then other companies pull their stock from that company, blood prices skyrocket, average vampire citizens now can't afford blood, which means they turn into demonic vampire gargoyles, and then the cycle repeats. I found that cool. Basically, the vampires are in a shitstorm. But Willem Dafoe, who, let's face it, looks more vampire than human on a good day, was once a vampire, but then mysteriously got cured. And thus, Ethan Hawke's race against time to find a cure ensues. As for the characters, I really like the characters in this movie. I mean, Ethan Hawke's character obviously doesn't like being a vampire. He's living in a world he knows is doomed, working tirelessly to come up with a blood substitute before From Dusk Till Dawn happens to the entire world. What can you say? He's a vampire with a heart for humanity. He was good. I liked him. Willem Dafoe just straight up owns. He's a sarcastic, really chill ex-vampire who might just be the hope for humanity, and he steals every scene he's in. Just try to find a scene he's in that he doesn't steal. I dare ya. Sam Neill was perfect as the corporate douche bloodsucker that you can pretty much find in most corporations these days. And surprisingly, the other characters provide enough weight to keep the situations coming, the interest alive, and the shitstorm flowing. Is it strange that I found Ethan Hawke and Claudia Carvan's chemistry, although mostly professional, a hundred times more interesting than What's-His-Face and What's-Her-Nuts? Just saying. In the end, if you like vampire flicks, you're gonna love this movie. It has a good mix of old-school vampire lore with a new-school feel and new-school world. I mean, vampires rule the world. That's interesting. This movie has more than enough to keep you interested and keep you going. You like blood? It's got it. Bangs? Got it. Exploding bodies? Yep. Popping heads? Course! Spontaneous combustion? Mm hmm. Sparkly skin in the sunlight? No! This is a vampire movie after all. But if you don't like vampire movies, I still think you'll like this movie enough. But watch it. It's a good movie, and I hope it gets a sequel. Oh, and as a little bonus, about two-thirds to three-fourths of the way through the movie, yeah, Ethan Hawke looks just like Han Solo. He has the hair, he has the outfit, he is Han Solo. Check it out, it's hilarious.